Thanksgiving means something different to everybody. For many, it's a time to give thanks to veterans who've defended our freedoms and rights. That's like Richard Overton, the 111-year-old Austinite, who's had a year to remember. The Night Beats' Michael Perchick sat down with his family tonight. The cigar. I done smoke about five cigars this morning. It's practically ingrained in the image of Richard Overton, a habit that predates his military fame. When I was eight years old. Eight? Yeah. So you've been smoking a cigar for more than 100 years? Yeah, yeah that's right. It's a constant in what's become a year of change, both to his home and daily routine. Home Depot, Meals on Wheels, and Austin Energy teamed up to renovate his home. I love that. Sure, I sure do. Fixing the wiring and plumbing, bringing it up to code, and adding heating and AC. They have come to his home and totally made this home a, a different place. It's different in a special way for him. Volma Overton Jr. is Richard's cousin. While the renovations made Overton's home more accessible, there was this separate matter of medical care. That's where the community has stepped up. He has care around him all day long, day and night, and uh, that has made a great difference in his life. Through a GoFundMe, the Overton family has raised more than $200,000 to cover costs for in-home care over the past year. Never been by himself since uh, January 1 of, of this year. But all that's left is about a month's worth of funds. And anybody who knows Richard Overton, the country's oldest vet, knows you can expect him to hang around a lot longer than that. That's a guard. I ain't got thing to do with it. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be at all. So consider it a call to the community for the man whose birthday parties are citywide celebrations. On the day we give thanks, we give to those we are thanking. In Austin, I'm Michael Perchick, KVU News Nightbeat. Overton plans to spend Thanksgiving with his family tomorrow. A link to that GoFundMe page is right on our website, kvu.com.